Can we scalp and make money on the Bollinger Bands and RSI indicators? Five minute time friends, let's see if we can do it. Hey guys, what's up? Evil does Forex Trading Lines here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Right, today we're trading with Bollinger Bands and RSI. If you need all of these, you go into indicators, you go into uh, just write Bollinger Bands. There we go, Bollinger Bands. I haven't changed any of the settings, so leave it as default. RSI as well, leave it as default. And so what I'm looking at currently, Euro GBP, this seems like a good trade. Why? Well, it's broken previous areas of sensitivity, right, on the five minute time frame. One touch, two touches, three touches, multiple touches here. So what happened all of these times? It shot towards the upside every time it touched. But we also can see that the pressure has been lowered 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 every single time the bounce wasn't strong enough and look now it broke out so this tells me that the sellers are in the market it's clear to see that it's also telling me that other side markets are oversold but if we have a look at the 15 minute chart it's not yet oversold as much which means on the five minute time frame we can enter short uh, very quickly so euro gbp sell this trade let's just do stop loss uh, stop loss of 25 day four or something like that there we go that's much better and what what we're waiting for basically is this you know just sh shooting towards the downside because the momentum is there uh, when you're trading on five minute time frames one minute time frames you need to actively be trading you cannot just wait uh, when you're trading let's say four hourly time frame you can just calculate everything you know do your support and resistance do your research and then place the trade when you're trading you know five minutes anything can happen it is definitely riskier as well but you know that's what scalping is you go inside the market in and out take your profit and move on so it's pushing towards the downside very nicely it it might have some sort of sensitivity here but i am not too sure uh let's just have a look at the 15 minute the reason you have a look at the 15 minute to see where was the next move or the next fluctuation let's say a fluctuation is something in regards to this where there's some movement you know where there's where the market kind of stops and fluctuates in and around this uh price level and then it broke out here so it's probably gonna find you know area of sensitivity here which it did you know currently but uh, I believe the bearish pressure is there. You know, the sellers are definitely there. I'll probably reach this zone at least over here. It's currently not yet oversold on the RSI indicator on the 15 minute time frame. We can even have a look at the 30 minutes. Uh, so there we go. Shooting obviously reached in this area. Yeah, it honestly, Euro GBP does not look like a buy at all. It's all aiming for a sell at the moment it might reach this level i believe this is one hourly time frame uh, so five minutes uh, it might have some sort of pullback you know random pullback before continuation or push towards the downside but this is five minute charts anything can happen but i believe it's uh, gonna shoot towards the upside uh, downside sorry so uh, that's why i uh, placed this trade we're currently minus 15 dollars uh, in profit but that's okay because it's just on a pullback it will receive a pullback i can even actually place another trade let's do another trade it's getting a pullback right Look at this. So let's do 25 and 35 over here. There we go. Two trades open. I believe they're going to be profitable very, very soon. It was a nice pullback. Should be continuing to go uh, down and uh, making some profit for us. Obviously, I entered prematurely. Maybe here I should have entered on a pullback. You should always enter up for a pullback. Or, you know, when you're when you trade in forex that's the best and most optimal risk to reward ratio you know what i would do personally if i would be not trading for a video you know i want to make a video today i would be waiting for a push towards the upside maybe this level over here you know since this was the previous area of sensitivity uh get a bearish engulfing candle confirmation and then push down that would be the high probability trade you know high probability as in it would be probably like 80 percent success rate when you trade in somewhere here it's uh, much riskier you know although we are still following this down you know 
momentum is still much riskier when you know you rather have a pullback as i said you know spartan warriors imagine like they're fighting over here and winning the war but then what after what happens after the war they have to have some sort of exhaustion you know rest and then a push towards the downside yet again for a continuational war uh that's what happening currently with the bears and the bulls you know they're fighting each other so uh okay so let's have a look at the 15 minute chart what's happening here yeah he's just getting a little bit of pullback it's outside the bands rsi not telling much at the moment it's not oversold yet even though it's it's not in the middle you know but it's not outside you know when it's oversold i want to see something in regards to that outside the purple area if you see it uh, i'm not sure if my camera is uh on the way you know so if you see something in regards to this this is oversold over here you see the uh this line over here is not oversold it's quite in the middle it might have a pullback as i said and there we go it's having a pullback and what i usually do when i scalp you know i keep opening trades if he has a better entry i open i open and i open and i carry on opening uh, so since i already have one lot size uh, trade on meta trade what we're gonna do now is just make a little bit smaller trade 0 0.25 let's sell it as well do the same stop loss and there we go so three trades open and i carry on doing that because i believe in this trade it might have a pullback you know towards this level somewhere over here but not very likely let's just see 11 pips over here my stop loss around 25 so it should you know shoot somewhere here uh, so definitely we'll keep this trade open keep them running and we'll see what it does but honestly euro gbp not uh, not standing on the best situation at the moment five minute charts maybe if he has a bullish engulfing candle like a big candle now it might change in direction which would be very unlucky actually since it's oversold on the five minute time frame but i believe the market will go down since it's on a long-term downtrend uh i i did mention this i believe uh, on my vap trading signals we are probably in 100 bit profit now on the euro gbp if you haven't joined make sure to do so we are killing the markets currently uh but yeah so yeah it's dropping down might have a pullback as i said probably the pullback might be somewhere around this level over here which means we could place another sell trade and then it will carry on going down so if it shoots up shoots up to this level and then probably will test the previous you know at this level over here the previous uh, where it kind of turned around so it'll test this level and then it'll probably break this level as well that's what i think at least currently pulling back a little bit let's have a look so yeah five five four three two uh one second so it's like a bullish pullback not really five minute chart doesn't really give a lot of indication let's have a look on the 15 minutes still 10 minutes left on the 15 minutes so not much is happening currently i'll come back to you guys when i'm in profit or maybe i'm placing more trades so it's pulling back to the upside as i said look what we're gonna do now is because it's pulling back very strongly i'm gonna place a big trade and this is gonna secure my trade i can guarantee it i can bet well i cannot guarantee anything in forex to be fair but my experience tells me that it's gonna shoot towards the downside uh because as i said it broke out very nicely over here look it broke out what happens after a push exhaustion there's exhaustion to the previous level of support or resistance after that it shoots towards the downside yet again probably retesting this level over here where it bounced back or breaking this level and continuational push towards the downside we will probably see this very very soon so after a while i'm still waiting and there we go we are seeing some bearish momentum obviously i didn't want to fully record it because it's totally boring just watching the charts that's why sometimes i don't like scalping you know me i like swing trading and that's what we do on my VAP trading signals but currently nicely pushing towards the downside if it closes like that it's even better which means it's a bearish engulfing candle close which uh, should mean a bearish continuational push towards the downside there's 24 seconds left uh, for it so we'll see if that happens 
If not, it's still a nice push and it'll probably continue to go down. As I said, what usually happens after a push, exhaustion and a continuational push towards the downside because it broke an important level a zone. As we see it over here, it broke out this zone, this yellow rectangle zone that I have marked. It did not have currently a bearish engulfing candle close, but it will probably continue its push towards the downside we see it over here we have two trades minus 35 minus 22 minus 7 and then this trade that I plays the one lot size trade is 62 60 dollars currently uh also i have this trades open usd swiss franc ignore this trade i have this trade open for a while i believe it will carry on going down anyway and making me even more money but for now uh we are scalping currently we're waiting for there we go 75 the 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 push is happening. The push is there. I just need to wait a little bit more. And I believe it's going to retest this zone yet again. Uh, let me just mark it real quick. This zone over here. You know, it'll probably drop down even more. It'll probably drop down. Let's just have a look. Price range. I believe another... It'll probably drop down till this level over here at least. So another 14 pips, which is pretty damn good as a scalper. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if that happens. It's, it's definitely going to go down because it did get a lot of pressure. I told you it's going to have a push towards the upside. Retesting the zone. It retested this zone over here. Now dropped down. Very nice indeed. Uh, sometimes it even uh, the markets decide to retest yet again and then drop down. Uh, this would mean that, like it's a little double top. We can't really call it a proper double top because you know on the four hourly time frame then it's a pure double top. It actually means a lot on five minutes. You know anything can happen as I said you know but it does sometimes mean you know after a push it has you know bare pressure and then another push which gives a final result whether it's breaking towards the upside or going back down. Uh, so we'll see if that happens. We are currently seeing a bullish pressure yet again but you know i'll come back to you guys once we're back and uh, see if we made any money so as you can see i've been waiting for quite a while but finally the trades you know the euro gbp movement has started and it started to drop down and there we go we can see the result over here some profits there we go we can close off all of these trades god damn it and there we go as, as i said they're gonna leave this one but for now uh there we go finally you know the movement is there you know it started to, it started to go up a little bit i was a little bit worried but you know it's it happened it started to go down that's what i expected the market to do and that's what happened and that's why scalping sucks because you have to look at the charts all the time and that's why i like swing trading so if you want to join my vap trading signals group you're more than welcome to i'll leave a link down in the description below so follow all my social media pages and peace out guys i'm ending this video with a banger and goodbye everything changes